Top five rogue decks post Ishizu Tier Elements, aka Magnificent Mavens. And let me tell you, there besides like the top five, there's a lot of interchangeable pieces on these lists. And just because I don't think a deck is top five doesn't mean that it can't compete. All right. Make sure you guys smash the little crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. We have Bi Steel Dragons. Now, this is going to encompass Dragon Link, and I also want to put Dragon Maids in here as well. Now, the reason why I'm kind of lumping this up together is Dragon Link basically has to undergo an evolution to use Lubellion and the rest of the Dragon Link package as interruptions. Uh, the problem here becomes, you know, how consistent of a board can Dragon Link put up post, you know, Ishizu doing like a full mill. I mean, yeah, you get access to your graveyard. Um, you can do some pretty cool stuff at that point, but how strong will Dragon Link be? It'll depend on how many interruptions that you can open through the Bice Deal cards. Good news is Wolo is a very, very good card. Now, in the same category here, I mentioned I wanted to include the Dragon Maid stuff here. Now, the reason why I mentioned like the Dragon Maid package here is, um, honestly, you get access to all of this new high-level dragon. Saranir, uh, you get access to Lubellion in your deck. I know there were a few Dragon Maid players who are like, you know, is there a way to play this deck without Lubellion? I, I think the answer is no. You need access to these powerful monsters in order to make sure that your deck can get off the ground, right? You need these interruptions. If you try to play this deck without those interruptions, you're going to have a craptastic time, man. So, a Dragon Maid getting the chance to kind of shine right now is quite an interesting little thing. Um, I hope that some sort of Dragon variant with the Bice Deal cards will shine as an anti-meta contender in the meta, because we need something. Um, absolutely need some sort of engine to use these Bice Deal cards for these interruptions, and then they have to be able to capitalize and run it on back home, you know, as well. So... That's my pick right now. I, I have a lot of hope for you, Dragons, at least in terms of both variants at the end of the day here. Next up is going to be Runic. Ah, this is my favorite. So you got multiple Runic variants here. Um, you have Pure, which, I mean, you still use your spells. You still use Mystic Mind. You still mill out your opponent and do all of the mystical mind thingies that you've wanted to do. All right, like, there's that build. And, of course, you have the Sprite build, which I mentioned previously, which ended up being one of the better variants, of course, over time. And then you get a Shizu runic and you're like oh god oh please Ravu. that's three decks in the room that get access to the ishizu package yes it is don't you love the fact that diviner of the herald mills oh you mill off the piece oh hey look i get to trigger my mill effect awesome next turn sprite elf revive it well i get to go ahead and do it again oh wow i just milled off all of these cards and you're just like yeah this is the uh, this is the ridiculous powerhouse that you're kind of starting to see here within the format. Um, I do think Runic will be a very very strong challenger, but it's going to depend on the variant. Um, I do think that the Ishizu variant is going to be slept on by a lot of people until much later in the format, until one or two people kind of go, huh. Wait a minute, I can I can do this with this deck? Um, and I mean, obviously it depends on you know how much play Eradicator Epidemic Virus maintains in the format, because once the tier stuff um, kind of gets merged with the Shizu, the Curious Package doesn't seem all that inviting at the end of the day, which means I don't have to worry about good old Griffin as much. I mean, it's still something that they can access. It is something that they can still hard draw. Yeah, at the end of the day. I mean, that's Yu-Gi-Oh for you. If you draw the out, I, I pretty much get blown out. It is the cost of being, you know, a runic player at the end of the day, but a lot of high potential, in my opinion, there because of the Ishizu stuff. Next up is going to be Mathmech. Now, I formerly have pushed Mathmech down from top five down here into the roguish section because I still think that while Mathmech can still play the ignorant game of, oh, I open circular, watch me go, you know, <laughs> literally watch me nay nay. Um, I think that the, the deck is it's still a very solid contender at the end of the day. Um, my problem still is it's it's still like it hasn't gotten any new support. So the game plan that it has going for it doesn't necessarily seem um, I guess all that all that different in terms of compatibility with the format. Um, 
Induction's a good card if you play it. Super Factorial is really good. The good news is if you go first and you can set up your, your very big Math mech -y board, um, you're probably off to the races. That's not like the good news with Math Mech is you win that dice roll. Seems to be the case with a lot of these decks. You win that dice roll, you can do the thing. I can't think of a lot of decks right now that can put up a pretty decent field and really, really do something. Hmm. Hmm, sound familiar? Yeah, I love these formats where you see these dramatic shifts and things here. But I do think that Math Mech will remain a contender. Problem is, is, you know, you get locked into Cybers. Um, I guess you can attempt to play buy steel cards in the deck, but I feel like you take away from your game plan if you try to play buy steel cards. Because your main deck isn't necessarily packed, but you need to make sure that you can get as many combo extenders as you need to see in order to kind of take off and do the whole math mech board. So that's that's kind of eh. I, I wanna I wanna give math mech a whole lot more credit, but just with the, this power scaling, you know, pushing from here up to here, you know, you see so many differences in gameplay. I, I think that the deck will still hold on in the top 10 category for sure. Next up is going to be Draco Slayer Pendulum. Now, this is kind of like your wild card of the format because this deck is really, really cool. Um, any Anytime you can see like a Pendulum engine kind of take off and, you know, get new support post Darkwing Blast, for example, it's always really cool. You, you always will have your dedicated player base to like these massive combos. But the problem is, is how well does Draco Slayer stand up against this insane board that, you know, Tier just put up? Uh, I think the answer is it's not very strong. And that, it's kind of, especially with like Fenrir running around now as a card, um, I, I guess that does work true for this deck. They can actually special summon the Fenrir and then start combo for Draco Slayer, but the problem on the flip side of the equation is... Uh, a Fenrir against them really hurts them. You know, the spot removal option just, ugh, it, it's so devastating to, for Draco Slayer, especially since you don't have Electromite in order to capitalize and, you know, make these relatively huge boards that you need to do. You're kind of forced to rely on, like, a little bit more niche interactions in order to get your deck going. But I will think that there will always be a potential here for this. <laughs> Definitely going to take time in order to get things settled in. I've, I've already seen some really cool combos and stuff for Draco Slayer, but to be honest with you, post Ishizu, it's going to come down to, once again, did you get the chance to go first? I've been saying that a lot in these videos, man. Like That going first option really, really, really matters all that much. And especially when you're a Pendulum combo deck, yeah, the, the, the extra card matters all that much at the end of the day, but I don't know. It, it can be such a crapshoot trying to combo off on minimum options, and then your opponent's like, oh, I have an interruptible hand trap. Speaking of uh, hand trap, hmm, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> uh, I was thinking about how, how well Dimension Shifter kind of can mess with the day of a Draco Slayer player. Hmm. Uh, and then last but not least for this video is going to be the Punk Package. Now, the reason why I put the Punk Package here is, you know... Gabu and the rest of the the Synchro package, you have a draw two package sitting here in front of you. Uh, my question is, is how splashable can we make this? Can we, can we splash this in Sprite to get some draw power? Um, what about Tier Elements of Shizu? What if I want to, you know, kind of tuck this package in there? What are, my, what are my best options right now for Punk? When you have an engine that literally has a pot of greed kind of floating in limbo here, you kind of ask yourself, is there a possibility for this deck to kind of take back off or, you know, merge into another engine at some capacity. I mean, we just did get Fenrir, so, you know, hand trap, good stuff does kind of seem like a little bit more of an option tree of something that you could see with Punk here. You just kind of got to see what the rest of your flavor is going to be for the deck. So that's kind of where I'm sitting right now is I think Punk can very much have a chance to enter back into the metagame kind of shake things up a little bit. Pot of Greed cards are really good. You have an Imperm that you can search, which is absolutely amazing. And then, you know, Fenrir and the rest of, like, good hand traps. Just kind of add a little bit more into the equation. Yeah, losing Chaos Ruler was a big blow to this strategy, but, I mean, you just make the, the draw two instead. So, all sorts of interesting things here. So that's my, my roguish video for this. 
Uh, but truthfully, it's just the other half of the top 10 that you can kind of see potentially do well here. So what do you guys think? Please leave a comment about tell me what you guys think. And I will see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.